Hello and welcome to Blocks Master. My name is Elder, and in this video, I want to show you the guideline or some tips for the new template I just released a couple of days ago, about a week ago. It is called Investor, and you might have already seen it if you're following me on Twitter. But basically, this is the new dark theme website template for Blocks 4. There's lots of cool animations and as you can see it looks pretty good and well nothing very fancy but it is very easy to manage and very easy to edit so there are a few things which are not very straightforward and if you go to the guide page which i have included for this template i will open it in the separate tab here I have actually put together a list of some things which I wanted to mention before releasing this template, but I will show you some of them now in this video. So first of all, the duplication. There is not so much to show you here. It's just the thing I always tell to all of my customers is that when you want to add the new content, use the duplication instead of creating and adding new content. So let's say that for your getting started guide, you don't have just three, but you have four uh, steps. And right here, as you can see, I can select this row and then I can add another one, like add column below and try to rebuild it and apply all of the classes. And most of the time you want to get it 100% the same because I, first of all, optimized everything for mobile is actually the second point I wanted to mention. All of these elements, they were optimized and there are lots of things going into optimizing them. All of them have the width and offset settings for each breakpoint. All of them, all of these classes are optimized for each breakpoint. The padding, the sizing, the radius, everything is optimized for each breakpoint. So when you want to add a new step, you can see here in the sidebar on the left, we have column and we have three rows. What it means that if we select the last one and press command D, we can duplicate it. From there, you just change the whatever fourth step and just change the image, but try to keep it to the same size as I have here in the side. As you can see, this one is 100 by 1000 to 1000 pixels maybe a little bit too big actually for this type of image but you get the point keep the ratio aspect ratio the same because if i put some other type of image here as you can see it will break the design so keep it the same aspect ratio most of the time the same size as well so this is how you would add a new content try to select something and duplicate it so same goes for the links if you want to add a link select and duplicate okay this is pretty straightforward but still i wanted to tell you animation settings this template uses a lot of animations i can see even the navigation bar is sliding from the top uh, when i open in any of the pages you can see these elements are moving text is moving sometimes it is scroll effects sometimes it is regular fading or something like that animation and if you're not a big fan of that, you can, for example, let's say on contact page, I wasn't sure if I wanted to add this animation here, but I left it here because you might prefer it. But if you don't like animations for some of the elements, you just find this element, select the element. In this case, it might be a column or it might be a form, one of two. And it is either the scroll effects or animations. And as you can see for form, I don't see anything here. So it means that it is column. And when we select the column, we have this scroll in effect enabled. So just by clicking here, we can disable it. You can do that for all of the elements. Like I said, we have this uh, animation for the, I think it was for the row, for the whole row with all of these elements. And as you can see, there is fading from the top to bottom normal speed delay 0.2 seconds 
If you don't like that, all you need to do is just select none in style and it will apply to this element. Okay, so that's it for animations, nothing difficult. So review section, well, this website, if we go to, I think it was the main page, has some cool review section and it looks fine, but if we go to, let's go to, I think, mobile, you will see that instead of the carousel, we have just regular reviews and they will look better on mobile because it will be more compact. The reason why I don't include the carousel because it is not very good element to use on mobile devices, especially the bootstrap carousel we get in blocks. So when you want to add or edit the review, and you should because the ones I have on my template are de demo content, there is no content there, it's just the regular text. You should not only edit it inside these um, cards, inside the carousel, but you should also change the same text for these, these elements, which are, as you can see, are only visible on mobile. And basically I kind of duplicated this content and this carousel is visible on desktop, large tablets and large phone, small tablets. You can see this carousel is not visible on mobile. So that's it for the carousel, I think, for review section. So we have team member image section as well. So if we go to about and in the about page, we have, you can see this team section, these images, names of the team members. And what I wanted to show you here is these images because to make this look perfect, you should use the square images. I recommend something like 500 to 500 for good quality, but I'll always optimize the images to look great on all devices and be not bigger than 500 kilobytes or something like that. And I've done a lot of videos on this topic. If you haven't already, go check it out. But yeah, I mean, keep the aspect ratio. This is for all kind of images on our website, but especially for this section, because if you put not square image here, it will be not very good. So this one is square and as you can see it kind of fits perfectly, but obviously this is not the face. Make sure that you use, you're using the square image. And after that, we have partners sections, partner section. You can see that we have our team members. Well, okay. I didn't change the name. This is the, our partners section and here we have the logos and these are the default images I just built in, I made in Pixelmator I believe. And these are the PNG files, this 200 to 100 pixel size. And by doing that, I just made them same size and it is easy for, you, for mobile optimization. It looks perfect on all devices and stuff like that. So when you have your, uh, companies, your partners, if you want to use this block, make sure that you create the PNG image 200 by 100 pixels, and then just place your logo, if it is different size, in the center of this PNG. And of course, it should use the transparent background for the best look. So let's go to our guide. What else we have here? Uh, pricing page tips. Well, for pricing page, this is basically uh, one thing I wanted to mention here is that as you can see, uh, the sizing for these elements is pretty similar here. And you can make it a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, or maybe shorter, and it will still look good. But the more similar you, they will be, the better it will look. And I mean, I guess it's not that important, but I still wanted to mention that because if you have like something let's say a couple of more words of some, you can see that it will kind of break the design. It doesn't look very good. You can make, if you want to include the more text, you can make these elements smaller and this will give you an, an ability to write and maybe even have two lines if you want. But like I said, if it's, if it is possible, if you want to use this block, I recommend to keep the 
keep the titles short and if you want to add more information you can always use the tooltip section so basically when people hover the mouse over this thing they will get some additional message okay so this is also optimized for mobile and looks great on all devices it, it gets a little bit small on uh, xs it's like iphone 4 like really old style uh, phones but on most, uh, on most phones and tablets it will look great but once again try to keep the titles and everything as short as possible for better results okay so this is it what i have on the guide page which you can find here in the one of the pages on this template you can see there is a guide page and you can read all of that but there is a couple of other things i wanted to mention actually just remembered for example as you can see each page like this one included has this like uh, background you can see this is the blue blowing like glowing whatever background this is the blooming <laughs> background i was i wanted to say but let's say that i want to change that well i have a few custom classes you can see invest custom bg is one of them i also have if we go to class manager i have custom bg2 side bg2 and side bg so basically i have four classes created and if you don't like this design first of all you can open it and change the colors to well look like your branding let's say that your company is more like magneta or well maybe something like that and the thing is it will change it for all of most of the pages on this website you will see that it will change it for every page which had this class applied well this is not a good color too too bright obviously but you get the idea how we can change it here something like that well, it might look good actually but in addition to this one which i'm using on the main page as well you can delete this and add some of the other designs so this is the two by default i had them similar but just different color but you can also have the side bg which will give you the double kind of gradient from one side and from the another side and by doing that as you can see you can change two colors for example let's make this orange and let's uh, let's make the other one red or yellow whatever i mean you get the idea and these are used across all most of the pages on this website and when you change something on one for one class it will apply the settings to all others other blocks on our page on our website the whole website so yeah this is basically it i think all of the other things are pretty straightforward but if i missed something which is possible you can always get in touch with me using this email and i will do my best to answer each and every one of you Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Have a nice day and I will talk to you in the next video.